FLIR's unique radiometric JPEG format allows for detailed post-processing and temperature measurement using FLIR tools and other FLIR software. Before you begin, click the Options button and make sure it is set for your desired temperature and distance units. Double click on an image from your library to begin the analysis process. The level and span can be adjusted using these brackets below the image. This is known as thermal tuning. You can also use the auto button to automatically adjust the scale depending on the temperature distribution throughout the image. From here you can choose from a variety of color palettes. Certain palettes, like the Rainbow HC, have more contrast and can show more detail in the image. The Adjust Region mode allows you to define the region for the Auto Adjust, rather than using the entire image. This can be helpful in cases where you have a cold background relative to a smaller region of interest. If you right-click on the image, you can change the color distribution modes. The default is histogram equalization, but the linear modes can help when comparing the temperature distribution between two or more images. The digital zoom mode allows you to digitally magnify the image. If you hover over the zoom button, it will show some instructions for magnifying the image and panning while magnified. With the control key pressed in, I can scroll the mouse wheel to zoom in and out. With the spacebar pressed in, I can click and drag to pan across the zoomed image. If you click on the zoom button, it will reset and show the full image. If an image is saved in MSX mode, or any fusion mode, you have the ability to switch between the various image modes using these buttons. While in MSX mode, you can adjust the contrast or intensity of the MSX algorithm. You can show the true thermal image with no fusion. This button enables interval fusion. The scale sets the upper and lower limits for the infrared part of the image. This button enables thermal blending, which has a transparent effect. You can show more or less of the photo using this slider. In picture-in-picture -picture mode, you can see the thermal image in a small window on top of the photo. With this button pushed in, you can change the size and position of the IR window. The last button shows just the visual photo. Temperature measurements can be made by placing and positioning spot meters, areas, and lines on the image. Temperature readings are shown in the table to the right of the image and will update automatically if they are moved. For areas and lines, you can configure what values are shown if you right-click on the measurement tool and select the local options. For this example, I can choose to show just the maximum temperature. You can right-click on any tool to delete it from the image. Using the difference function, you can calculate a temperature rise, which can be helpful in assessing the severity of certain faults. If you click Edit, you can configure the delta function to use the desired tools. In this case, I want to subtract spot 2 from box 1.
Object parameters, like emissivity and reflected temperature, can be adjusted here. If something is changed, the measurement results will update globally. Click here to show the atmospheric and external optics parameters. For a complex image, it may be necessary to set local object parameters. You can right-click on any measurement tool and click Local Parameters. This allows you to set a custom emissivity for the material that is being measured. If local parameters are applied, a small eye symbol will appear next to the measurement value. If you hover over the eye with the mouse, it will show the local parameters for the tool. Color alarms, also known as isotherms, can be used to show areas of the image that are above, below, or between certain temperatures. The alarm limit can be adjusted from the scale or by typing into the limit box. The alarm color can be selected from here. The humidity and insulation alarms are unique to the building industry and rely on input about relative humidity, humidity limit, insulation level, and several other parameters. The last option is the custom alarm, which allows you to combine a color palette with an alarm. Your findings can be documented using notes and text annotations. The note can be added here. This is meant to be a brief description of your assessment. The text annotations have a label value relationship, allowing you to be more specific. For example, you could use a location label and type the location of this breaker panel. Using the plus button, you could add another field for equipment and perhaps type the breaker panel name. You can continue to add labels and values as needed. You can also add labels and values from predefined text annotation templates. These are the same templates that can be used with certain cameras in order to store text annotations when the images are saved. When your analysis is complete, you can save and close the image to return to the library, or click Save and use these navigation buttons to move to the next image. If you right-click anywhere on the image, there is an Export to CSV menu. This allows you to export the entire image or specific measurement tool data to a CSV text file. In the case of an area or line, the CSV file will contain every pixel inside the area or along the line. These files can be opened with Microsoft Excel or with any software that can read CSV files. Now you can use the power of Excel to perform more detailed analysis of the temperature data. Some cameras can store data with the images as they are saved in the camera. If an image is stored in the camera with a note or with text annotations, this information will appear in these areas. You can always edit the text and add or remove text annotations if needed. If meter link data is saved with the image, it will appear in this area. When a compatible Bluetooth meter is paired with the camera, it will automatically transmit the data to the camera, and this data is saved with the JPEG image. Some cameras can record voice annotations using a Bluetooth headset. The voice recording can be played back using your PC speakers, and you can add notes while it is playing. 
This image was stored using the sketch mode in the camera. This allows the operator to draw directly on the camera's LCD screen in order to highlight areas of interest on the image. FLIR tools can be used to show or hide the sketch.